What was the situation at work during this time? I went to work, I worked full time. I just had, um, well, the second cycle of chemo, the second lot of drugs caused quite a bit of pain. Mm. Uh, so I was off then at times, but not for very long, so I did work through. Mm -hmm. um, I used to go, because I'm a lawyer, criminal lawyer, I used to go to court, but I'd, before, just before I was diagnosed, I started doing an office-based job. I don't think I'd have wanted to go to court. Why is that? Mm, because some of the people that you meet at court are not necessarily going to be as uh, <laughs> reserved in what they say about the way you look. Yeah. But fortuitously, you changed your role slightly. So you That's actually right, didn't yes. have to do that. I didn't have to, no. Was there any reaction, either positive or negative, from your colleagues in general? About? About the cancer and your... Um, positive yeah. reaction. What did they tend to say? Um, I think they were upset. Mm. Um, uh, but my workplace is very helpful because obviously I'm single. I don't have any family or anybody to go with me to appointments. So mm. my employers worked it so that my friends, because all of my friends are people I work with, yeah. um, had their own rotor. They would accompany me to different things. Oh, your friends came to appointments where, to appointments where me, yes. we could be facilitated. And were the hospital happy with that as well? Yeah, I mean, you can't take anybody in with you when you go to chemo. Mm. Because the, well, not where I am because the room is too small, mm. but you can have somebody waiting outside for you. Yeah. So that raises an interesting question about um, how important is it to um, gather support during the acute treatment phase? It's very important. And what, what, was the, what was, did you find the willingness of your friends was like to go to those kind of appointments? Because, you know, it's not always clear who, who to ask and whether they'd be free and whether... I they... didn't ask them, as I said, it was this kind of, they did it themselves. Yeah. So they would work out who was available and free to go to certain things. What they actually spontaneously offered yes. to, to support you actively through it yes. and attend with you. Wow, yeah. that's quite amazing that they rallied around that way. I, was some, I sometimes ask people whether workplace colleagues know about the condition. But in your case, it shows that if they do know, they have that option to be more involved and to help. The ones that came with me were good friends. I mean, I've worked there for over 20 years, so they're people I've known for that length of time. They are my friends. Mm. So, but everybody was supportive. I mean, there were a couple of times during the first lot of chemo when I was hospitalised a couple of times with complications. Um, what, what complications in particular? I had a blood clot mm -hmm. um, and I had an infection which made me neutropenic. So I was injecting myself twice a day. Only in my stomach though, so it, was not, it doesn't hurt. How long did you have to stay <laughs> in for during those complications? Blood clot only for a day, yeah. well overnight, while they found out what it was that was wrong. Um, and the, the infection a few days. During those periods where you come into the ward, you get exposed to, you know, a, quite a busy environment with a lot of different types of patients there. Was that something that was quite scary at the time? Because it no, was fairly so. new in the process. Not at all, because it's, um, the oncology wards were very friendly. Yeah. You found the reception from staff quite warm. The staff are brilliant. Mm. Um, and patients actually are very upbeat, positive. Mm -hmm. I found it quite strange, quite a happy place to be. Really? Happy maybe is putting it a bit strongly, but it was a, a friendly, you felt like you were at home really, kind of. And did that reflect on your mood as well? Was that your kind of outlook at the time? Were you able to mirror that? Yes, I think so. And that, so that, that probably was helpful for other patients as well, to see you managing well. Um, I do remember that there was a patient in the bed opposite me when I went in. I think it was the, the blood clot. And her husband came in and said, what's she doing here? She looks perfectly healthy. There's nothing wrong with her. <laughs> it was very rude. <laughs> they thought you were too well to be there. Uh, yeah, I think so. Mm. I look too, too healthy.